Dan and Dan. From snorkeling Snoopy Island to extreme jet skiing at the Burj Al Arab, which is one of the best experiences we've had to date in the UAE, we moved on to the mountains of Dubai and hiked to the Hatta sign in Hatta itself. If you guys have been following us, you'll know that we've been looking for a sunset spot in Dubai for quite a while now. <laughs> and we finally found it. By chance, we decided to come for dinner at the Dubai Creek Harbour and it turns out this has been the spot that we've been looking for the whole time. But it's a great place for families, lots of kids running around and enjoying themselves and the perfect sunset view. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Check it out. <laughs> Yes, can we have three different types of flavors? Yeah. Okay, cheesecake, cheesecake, um, a bubblegum, and what should our third one be? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. There's a berry yogurt, there's a strawberry, a dark chocolate. Oh, there's a chocolate or a strawberry. Yeah, then get a chocolate. Okay. Dark chocolate. Yeah. Is this one like bubblegum? Um, yes, please. Mmm, yummy. So, I'm not going it. Which one should I try first? Which one do you like? Mm. I had a little bit of bubble gum with dark chocolate. Um, a weird combination. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. So I'm going to have uh, bubble gum with some vanilla. Mm. It's gelato. Everyone loves gelato. <laughs> Leanne's having gelato right now, and I know I was too. But <laughs> we're having doing things the wrong way around, having dessert before her main meal, but it was just looked so good to pass up. So yeah, it's delicious. It's kind of hot, so it's all like turned to mush. Yeah, it's melted. But it's still good. <laughs> I'm actually quite hungry. Oh, me too. I'm excited. <laughs> Even though I'm all sweetened out from my ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so hard deciding what I wanted, but this looks great. A bit of a can. <laughs> oh, is that good? Is it spicy? No, not too spicy. <clears throat> okay, it's both too soon. Okay, so dinner. It wasn't that great. I mean, the mussels mm -hmm. were tasty, but really wasn't that filling for me. Burger was just a little bit too soft and unflavored. I wish we had something slightly better, but not bad. Not the best food we've had. Not the best food that we've had, but um, yeah, I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> the pictures looked amazing, but the food didn't quite live up to its standards, unfortunately. So now we know we need to make better choices. <laughs> So the next stop? Burj Khalifa. Let's, Let's go. go see the fountains. <laughs> So 
So we waiting for the next fountain show or the light show but it is incredible how tall the Burj Khalifa is. Like you guys have to see this. I can put the other buildings straight into the frame but Burj Khalifa yeah, does not fit in. This building always surprises me when I see it because we don't come here like that often but when we do like it just surprises me every time how tall this is like it's just like <gasps> It is literally crazy. Lacho, Lacho. So now we're going to walk to the other side so we can get the fountain show like all in one shot because it's hard to pan all over the place to show you guys what it actually looks like. Because we're in COVID, generally there's a massive amount of crowds that are always like gathering around here in order to watch a show is that they've actually put these little blocks of squares all over the place. Leanne standing in one. <laughs> Normally you're standing with so many people all around you but now it's quite spacious because you have to stand in the blocks. Mm. And earlier when we were walking past they actually have little cubicles out of the walkway for people to stand and watch the show in and they only allow a certain amount in so they're definitely insisting on um, social distancing around here. Like if I'm standing in a block and Leanne's in a block like check how far she is. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> how are you? I'm good. <laughs> it's cool that Dubai is keeping social distancing that's what we all need to be doing so that's quite cool. Bonus to buy plus sign plus signs. Can literally feel the water spraying straight on me. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, okay, I'm getting so wet right now. <laughs> Woo. Now we don't need to shower tonight. <laughs> that was pretty cool and the music was quite nice. Yeah, it feels like it's raining, but it's Yeah, so it does. Like raining in the desert, it's raining in the desert. <laughs> So the show between the um, light and the fountain is 15 minutes, yeah. but it's quite a walk around as you saw. So at the end, Daniel just bolted away from me because I couldn't keep up. Like if you guys see the beginning of the show, you'll realize I'm just recording the show because I'm trying to catch my breath. <laughs> yeah. I'm so tired from running all the way up. He literally ran <laughs> half the way just to like, get here on time. I yeah. couldn't keep up. So and if you I'm saw our and if you saw our hiking vlog, <laughs> you can clearly see like we are unfit. <laughs> so that was death. We're working on that. We'll update you in future vlogs. Yeah. But if you guys like this fountain, Dubai is opening the world's largest fountain next week. Yes. So definitely That's subscribe if you guys want to see that because that is going about 105 meters tall, the sprays. So they, it's going to be incredible. They're trying to break the world record for that fountain. So yeah. hopefully we get to see it. Join us next week to see the world's largest fountain. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? 
<laughs> How was your day? Yeah, it was good. My day was good. I had dinner with a beautiful girl. Like, wow, you should have seen it.